Hello everyone, my name is Ron Collins. I'm the owner of Blue Lacy SEO. And today I'm going to talk about how to optimize your content using Page Optimizer Pro. So let's go ahead and dive in. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create perfect content that will get your website pages ranked with an app called Page Optimizer Pro. And you can use Pop from its online dashboard or from the available Chrome extension. And Pop is a paid application with a free seven day trial. So you start off by creating a new project with the page you want to optimize. In this case, it's a tax service site that I created a few months ago. I'm using the tax website from a previous video on keyword research, and I'll leave a link for that video in the description below. After confirming the, the uh, domain name and naming the project, I click Next. After selecting New Page, choose your setup, Full or Express. I chose a full setup because I can choose my own competitors and I have everything I need on the page for page optimization. Here you add your main keyword or phrase. In this case, it's El Paso Text Preparation Services. And if it's local, like this is a local site, it's best to add your city to your keyword phrase. Now you choose your target language and region I'm using the Chrome extension, so Pop already knows my region. Then you select your competitors or let Pop choose them. I think it's best to choose your own. So I did a search for El Paso Tax Preparation Services. And choose ones that do not have sites like Yelp, uh, Thumbtack, expertise. You want to choose websites that are similar to yours. Next, select at least three competitors from the list. You can also add websites that are not listed. The more sites you can list, the better. You have a maximum of 10 competitors to select. Next, check your competitor list. You can also add to the list. Make sure you're adding the best competitors for your business. So I chose five of them in the list. Next, select at least one focus competitor that is more like your site in terms of content. I chose the top two websites. Here you want to enter the page you want to optimize. In this case, I chose to optimize the home page. Here you can review the variations of your keywords and add variations. In this example, I only removed one variation, CPA, because the term didn't apply to this business. Here you can review the LSI or latent semantic indexing terms. These are the contextual terms or words that give content meaning. You want to eliminate terms that don't apply to you. In this example, I deleted blue, blue pearl, pearl. These were competition names. Also bookkeeping, us, payroll, and accounting because they didn't apply to this business. Finally, we get to see the optimization score, which in this case is only 47.4. So there's work to be done. Next, we go to the dashboard. Under Content Brief, we see our to-do list, starting with the page title. The red dots mean this is a high priority. If you hover over the Use Alone directive, it tells you that these terms appear as part of another important term and should be used on its own the recommended number of times to avoid keyword stuffing. So you can see my uh, main Page title, El Paso Tax Preparation Services. Current usage is one. And this is a must-use item because this is the one I'm trying to rank for. 
Now, it's also telling me that there's other terms I could use alone, like uh, services, tax, El Paso, and so on. Under subheadings, we see the current usage of the keywords in the target range. Green dots are OK, orange is medium priority, and red dots high priority. So look over the subheadings and the terms. Look at your current use and what the target range is. I have some red dots and some green ones, which means I leave them alone, and then one medium. There's a long list of keywords for the main content. The target usage is 144 to 227, while the current usage is only 30. So there's work to be done. So look through this list carefully. See what the important terms are, what your current usage, and the target range. Look at the color of the buttons. Again, the orange is medium, green is OK, red is high priority. Based on my competitors, POP gives recommendations for bold, italic, and number of images. These are not really ranking factors, and these can be ignored. But if you want to include bold or italic, that's fine. But just don't overdo it. These are my page titles of my competitors. POP included these page titles for inspiration. I like the page title that I currently have, so I'm not going to use these. If relevant, these are some keyword ideas to use on the page. Get these on your page to rank more for more keywords. Now, some of these I may not use, like at the bottom it says Craigslist El Paso. I don't really know why that's there. I'm not going to be using that one or the CPA term. These are questions you can use for additional related content. These can be used if your content needs expanding. So you may want to look at these uh, related questions and see if they apply to you. Now, there are some questions concerning COVID-19. And if you're viewing this video sometime later, you understand the COVID-19 pandemic, which is going on at the time of this video. These are the variations of the main keyword, where they are on the page, and the recommendations for each area. Now, this is just a partial list, but it starts off with H1s, uh, H2s, current, target, minimum, target, maximum, and the recommendations. Again, I wouldn't reduce any until I, until I added the ones that are the high priority ones. So it goes to H1 to H4s, paragraph tax, and anchor tax. This screen shows a variation in LSI words and their importance on the page. Go for the number in the target column. POP doesn't recommend removing words until the target words are added. So if you see any that, are, that they recommend to, re to remove, don't do those yet until you add the high priority ones. So you see the importance of some of these terms from a high of 62%. And then the right hand column at the bottom, a low of 5%. So work on the important ones first. The page structure screen gives recommendations for the items below and their priority. If you're unsure what some of these items are, just hover your mouse over the blue eye for information. So it tells me about H4s, anchor text, bold tags, unordered lists, tables, and even forms. And in this case, all of these are high priority. Although schema is not currently a ranking factor, it does help achieve rich snippets. This shows a comparison of schema types for your page versus your competitors. So my page, it shows the schema types and the competitors, what their schema types are. And there's a couple of sites here that don't have any schema at all. 
The reports generated by POP contains a wealth of information. If the recommendations are implemented correctly, you should see a ranking boost in a few days or a few weeks. So if you uh, enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button and hit the subscribe button. So I'll see all of you next time. Everybody be blessed.